Welcome to Kingston, Ontario, home to Sir John A. Macdonald, Canada's first Prime Minister, home to historic Fort Henry, and at this time of year, home to the tortured souls of the walking dead. Welcome to Fort Fright, if you dare. And this is Greg Guthrone. He's in charge of Fort Fright. Hello, Greg. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me, sir. Okay, Fort Fright. One of Canada's largest haunted attractions. Yes. You come to Fort Henry, mm -hmm. and we take all the historical stuff out. Yeah. And it's full of spooky stuff now. Yes, because this is a World Heritage Site, correct? You are correct. But for three weeks of the year, all bets are off. You are spreading fear. <laughs> We're going to put fear into the hearts of the children tonight. <laughs> will they be children? Will they be older? There will be ev all ages. All ages. And I will be here with you, frightening them. OK, why don't you give me a tour, and I'll develop my character. Excellent. <laughs> I can't believe that you're going to have over a thousand people tonight. It, it's a hit. I mean, people love it. All right. Now we're approaching the entrance. Oh, this looks familiar. That's what CBC Sports looked like after Rogers got hockey. Say you're a person, stand there. Can I go, welcome to. Ah! <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. This, ah! is, no, yeah. <laughs> this is where the doomed regiment had their last stand and things didn't quite work out too well for right. it. Right. How come that hasn't been made into a heritage moment? Oh, this is awesome. Look. Look at this, this guy got a cannonball in the heart. That's wicked, I like that. And look, too much partying in the 70s. Okay, hey, Temple of Skulls, you can't go wrong. And while you're distracted by this person, behind us we can see a little hiding spot. Oh, I would be good in here, wouldn't I? You come over here and then I punch you in the no. stomach. <laughs> this is the display the CBC has sponsored, Rex Murphy and Rosie Burton. <laughs> And when Hockey Night returns, Ron McLean and George Strombolopoulos. <laughs> or maybe just Ron. <laughs> How many child therapists are working in the Kingston area? Because they're going to be busy. OK, the sun is going down. What do I have to do? We've got about an hour to get you ready. OK. Got to get into makeup. Yes. Costuming. Character. Character building. Okay. And we open the doors at 7 PM. Let's do it. This is Hannah. Look, Hannah. Ah! This is my makeup artist. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Nice to see you. Now, when I'm in the studio doing the show at the desk, yes. I put the makeup on a little heavier than this. Now, I'm guessing you're one of the scare actors. That I am. Now, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for four and a half years. Is it fun? It's an absolute hoot. And this is a professional gig for you as an actor. That it is. Sue, you're a working actor. I do my oh, best. There are so few in this country. <laughs> and how many actors are working here? We have approximately 65. That's amazing. That's more than the entire CBC. We are done. We are done. We're done. OK, I haven't looked in the mirror. Let's hope I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> that's scary. You think that's scary, kids? Look at this. This is a camcorder. Long before the iPhone, this is what your parents use. But this is special because this is infrared. You're going to love this. <laughs> the undead are trying to climb the fort. Come on. There you go. There's one there. Look, there's an undead. There's on dead deer law. This is one of the rooms where you have mannequins set up and then you have a space for a person to go in there and scare the right. people, correct? Yes. And that's my job that right now. That is your job.
always thought it was a low form of comedy, but now I've changed my mind. It's very highbrow. <laughs> Okay, I have emerged from Fort Fright in one piece, Greg. What a tremendous fundraiser for Fort Henry. It's great fun scaring people, isn't it? Yes, in fact, I'm going back in. I've got one more thing on my sleeve. <laughs>